Hey guys, so today we're going to be creating a new Xcode project. Today we're just going to be doing a simple demo table view controller using a single view application. Now you can easily do this by creating a master detail application, but that uh, just gives you a whole bunch of boilerplate code that you might not want. So let's uh, see how we can configure this on our own. So we're going to choose a single view application um, under iOS application, choose next. We're going to create a new product name. Let's do um, table view tutorial. And we'll do make sure make sure your language is under Swift and not Objective-C. Um, let's press next. It's on the desktop. All right, so you'll see that it automatically generates your app delegate, um, the view controller. So it automatically generates a UI view controller, and we'll change that in a bit. But first, let's go to our storyboard. So our storyboard looks a bit different. Um, it's a square view, but if we tap down, if we click down here on W N E H N E, um, we can actually configure it to look like our iPhone 5. So this looks a bit more familiar. So once we have this, um, let's actually embed in a new navigation controller. So that gives us this. Um, this view controller, let's actually just get rid of the view and bring in a table view. And from there, let's bring in a table view cell. With our table view cell, we want to come over here into the attributes inspector and choose uh, reuse identifier. Just give this a, a reuse identifier. We'll call it my cell, and that should be good. Um, so this is all we need to do with our storyboard right now. If we go ahead and run this, um, this is what it looks like. This is just a simple table view. Okay. So if we come into our view controller we actually want to change this to a UI table view controller. Like so. If we actually just come down here and start typing table view, we actually get some uh, autocomplete that we're going to need. So let's start off with um, self row at index path. So we'll come over here, make it look nice and neat. Um, Let's start off by saying var cell equals table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier and here's where we want to pass in um, our reusable identifier. So we called it my cell comma for index path index path as UI table view cell. Okay, so once we have that, we can actually return our cell so it doesn't complain. Let's configure the cell a bit. So if we say cell dot text label dot text and pass in string, let's say um, cell number and we want to pass in index path dot row oops dot row that is all we need okay so one more method that we need is all right all right so the next thing we need is number of rows in section simple one we just want to return how many rows we want so in this case we'll do 11 um, we don't need semicolons we can just yeah okay so um, let's uh, let's just go ahead and run this <coughs> so here you can see we have all these all these cells like so we can actually say a self dot title equals my table view. 
go ahead and run this. So now you'll see we have the simple table view. But now the cool thing is we can actually bring up our debugger. And over here we can actually just pause our running application and come over here into the uh, debug view hierarchy. And this is really cool, brand new with Xcode 6. We can actually look at all of the layers that go into this view and we can you know, go through them over here. Um, so yeah, that is, that's basically it. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, subscribe for more. Um, have a good day.